Hi guys, this is Tita, and today I'm back with another podcast on brains. Ki baat, and today not alone like the two podcasts which I have done previously. Today I have two of my boys, Shatik and Alipko, together to do this podcast. And before I start with the topics, can you both just introduce yourselves again? Hi. Hey guys, we are back. So yeah, we are back together to do this podcast, and today's podcast is on dharak. We, uh, it was my idea to watch Tharak, and then I dragged two of these people with me to go and watch Tharak. And yes, we three have watched it together, and they all of all, both of them have formed a very good opinion. So, what do you guys say about it? I'm shocked. Please, I'll what say, I'll say, suffering at its best. Uh, I mean, that's not, not like. Please tell me, Sairat is not like this because if Sairat is like this, I I won't watch. Because I was thinking of watching it after this, but okay. This um, the thing is, is like, so, uh, okay, Alec. The thing is like, firstly, Sairat is much better than this because that's the original thing, and from there, Tharak is adop- adapted. And Sairat is much better than this because after I watched Tharak, I came back home and watched Sairat. So Sairat is much, much, much better than this, and the ending will leave you numb. Sarah. Not only the ending, the entire detailing, and it was very realistic on that of Tharak. Tharak had the Karan Johar touch of nepotism in quotes. So, so you should definitely give it a try for Sarah. So let's start first. Let's listen to your views, and then I'll tell about my views on Sarah. Sorted? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, we haven't watched Sarah. We have watched Tharak only. And I was traumatized. Oh, yeah. I mean. Like what can I say? It's nothing like that awesome. Like I expected a lot more because I've that heard a lot about Sairat and being a official remake or something like that. Even the music and everything is uh like copied from the original. I thought it would be much better than this because what I've just seen is like just a normal Bollywood film with yeah. just a simple bit of tweaks. It's kind of where there in a lot of films. Because and people stop saying that you shouldn't uh, compare uh, Sairat with Tharak. Because when you are remaking a classic film, which touched the audience hearts, then someone will compare it. If you have watched it, right? I haven't watched it, but Tita has, but and she'll. I am sure she'll uh, compare it. One thing I would say that you say use the word copy. Um, actually, Sairat is not a copy of Tharak. Okay. Oh, sorry. Dharak is not the copy of Sairat. It's just adapted from Sairat because Sairat had a lot of more realistic viewpoint, as of I have said previously. Dharak is much more of a mix of a Bollywood in it, bit unrealistic at certain points. There have been lot of loopholes, lot of loopholes, and of course, romantic cringe. Like I have, I am a huge sucker of Karan Johar movies. Like. I don't remember how many times I have watched Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gum or you know Kuch uh, Kuch Hota Hai. Those are the spirit movies, you know. Like Kuch Kuch Hota Hai is something which made us know what first love is. They are dosti hai. You cannot fall yeah. in love. Yeah. So that's why yeah. people are single forever. Anyway. Okay. To me, it was like those standard Bollywood movies that try to take themselves way too seriously, and they try hard to harness the formula from evergreen. classic romantic blockbusters but they often fell really hard and the premise indicates rather a mediocre production that brings nothing new and just ends up in being lazy uh, in some parts i was actually enjoying the simplicity and lack of big names but then again plenty of scenes are cliched over and over again and whenever i get a little invested in it everything just becomes cheesy Yeah. By the way, like uh, I, I don't think it's kind of lack of big names because uh, we have Ishan, whose father is like has done a lot of movies and serials and other things as well. And we all know Janvi Kapoor is Sri Devi's daughter, so they are actually not kind of newcomer. So yeah. kind of similar are, to it's South. like their debut movies, but they are from some. Background. They have some background. Like yeah. always, like so, student of the year. The there was yeah. Alia Bhatt. There was Varun Dhawan. And uh, Karan Johar would never give up on his nepotism. So yeah, like he, 
um, you know, like Karan Johar is all already uplifting the uplifted. So of course, Janvi Kapoor and Ishan Khatta had to come up to this. So anyway, um, I think personally, Ishan was better than Janvi because I found Janvi very expressionless. We'll come back to that later. So Alekhu, will you give it a brief description of the movie? Can you? Anyway, like to be honest, it's nothing. Special happened because uh, I know was Sairat a Marathi blockbuster and also made around hundred crores maybe so it's it's Based. a big thing for our regional best and uh, the director kind of uh, made Sairat deal with the cast angle okay but here they do even find anything like that just we just know that Janvi's father uh, has a huge hotel and she lives in this huge palace like. How a home? Not it's a palace only in Udaipur, yeah. and this guy Ishan. And besides, he is a politician as well. And yeah, yeah. And this guy just owns a dhaba, which which is not going that bad actually. I mean, it kind of looked like he is living quite well. Yeah, like this. I said it had hugely cost based difficulties. I didn't yeah, find exactly. it. Exactly yeah. that I was thinking because this story needed that. This story needed the dynamic to push it and to make the matters really serious. But it just doesn't address that at all. Thing that pushes it isn't even mentioned throughout. Yeah, and I know. that's exactly. what the movie lacks. Exactly. Like in Sairat, it was shown that the uh, Archana, the name of the heroine, she comes from a very affluent family. Her father has a huge influence on the village and. He's also a politician, and and he has a lot of farming business and everything. He's like he's very rich and fun over there. The guy, he is not at all uh, like not doesn't come from an affluent family. His parents are making him study in colleges so that he becomes he gets flourished in his life and looks after the parents money monetarily because they are not financially stable. So uh, there was a difference that okay we won't get our daughters and also he was coming from a lower caste and you know like in villages like this if you are marrying a lower caste guy or marrying a lower caste girl it's a very difficult thing. So this was a difference a social sort of social and economic difference was there. But in I didn't find anything like that because as of I could see that Ishan's family is more or less affluent that he they can afford Janvi. Okay. The problem with Tarak is that. Nothing is authentic in this movie, uh, or heart trending, you know. Like, and it's not even a fun. Like, there are some jokes which are like cringeworthy, and it's kind of like exactly. makes you. It doesn't make you feel that yeah, this is actually it's funny. Absolutely. Or even I didn't like the part where like the guy sings for her. It doesn't yeah, make you feel that was yard. so lame. Yeah, that was extremely I, lame. And you yeah. know, Justin Bieber, like. Any small town girl, guy knows who is a just who is Justin Bieber, of course. And that was very, very lame. That was really lame. So, uh, to be honest, before we before we dive into the spoilers and the ending, which many of us want to know, like whether this is kind of similar to Sairat or not. That kind of do you think like is it worth watching the film? Like before we dive into the spoilers, in uh, one. I, I would just. One thing that there are certain movie Bollywood releases where couples can go out into the movie halls and make out. Tharak is one of them. That's it. And I'll say that there are actually kind of people who might actually enjoy this kind of movie, especially they if they haven't seen uh, Sairat or. Uh, something like this it might be new or just you know for a time pass like you're getting bored you have nothing to do you can go and watch it like don't expect something great yeah absolutely and uh, i think the movie is actually going on because of the music because it's by ajay atul who also gave the music of sairat and the song jingat is actually from sairat and now it's in dhadak so yeah that's the maybe that maybe yeah. that's the marketing usp of the movie yeah Do you both agree to this? So. Yeah, the music is not bad. Music is really nice, actually. But yeah. the background score is quite overwhelming, and it just tries to make some land not so epic scenes too dramatic, and that doesn't work for me. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's go into the spoilers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, the problem is that that nowadays everything everything is fickle-minded time, and and the uh, idea of love isn't like limited to 
कि मेरा एक वन सोलमेट होगा एंड इवन बिटवीन टीन्स दैट्स व्हाट आई फील ठीक है इम्पॉसिबल फॉर लाइक Yeah. How does that happen? And nowadays, love doesn't really work that way. You don't yeah. girl like that, and how she behaves. वो अगर हम सच में कहे तो यार वो लड़की तो मैं घुमाने वाली है ऐसा ही लगता है देख के. And yeah. you don't see a guy like that just building up his own family, taking, yeah. uh, looking after the wife uh, like one, that. and one doesn't simply dive into the water to just go and see the girl just yeah. for some seconds of that and, doesn't and happen. yeah i want to say something here uh, this some kind of problem with timeline or something i don't know because the guy jumps in the water hugs his friend goes back to his house takes a bath dresses up and then goes to see the girl and the girl is still bathing so i mean that- Yeah, that was one of the loopholes I was talking about. Thank you for pointing out. Actually, we yeah, both and another thing, when they are being chased by those cops and all those guys, politicians, they ran away. They hardly dodge them. They go to a place. They sleep there, and the next morning they wake up and again start running, and everybody is chasing them still now. Yeah, exactly. Like when they were sleeping, probably the cops and everybody were like, "Okay, ye log yahan pe so gaye to thoda distance leke hum bhi so jaate hain to fir se subah utke wo log daudenge, fir hum bhi daudenge." It's like it's happening. Like it's like wo hote na pakda pakdi wala gaye. Sab so gaye to so jaate hain. Guys, you are taking this way too seriously. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And also, like, uh, let's talk about the acting. Okay. Oh God. Ishan uh, was actually good. I mean. we actually kind of feel like that yeah that guy is kind of in love with the girl chanvi was actually better in the next half where there were yeah. actually scenes of him mat- her maturing and uh, expect yeah. accept role or the uh, reality reality yeah but ishan was kind of uh, better like overall but and they are, they were kind of comfortable with each other that's kind of nice but i hope like chanvi comes back with Like Alia did with Highway, she actually does a good movie. Or else, like oh, I it... think Janvi has some potential. Like seeing it overall, but I'm not so confident about him. Cause at start, I li- he looked promising, but later on, Janvi proved to be much better, in my opinion. I found Janvi very expressionless. Like lot of places, I found Janvi very expressionless. Like when she was. when she proposed to shan saying i love you that the face the glow the gleam that comes on your face it not there yeah. like and also considering her mother was a dance like shri devi like she was a diva she was some she was a diva and considering that her daughter is not that good in dancing i have to tell that so, yeah. yeah but ishan kind of like, like you said comfortable. ishan like you consistent and of course he dances really well so yeah there was uh, so that's it i guess from my side so anything else from both of you like you kind of feel like there's already celebrities and you don't feel newcomer wala essence or the new essence that a new actor does i yeah. think sayat has those you know like they yeah. actually took people nobody knew and they actually created a wonderful movie with them so that was actually good also i felt something weird with the i don't know i i i they had some cute and flirty moments but <laughs> you know like it's not enough fainted or they are like of like it didn't portray a true 
young love like they didn't come across ki like they live for they live for each other and they die for each other like when you actually run away yeah. with some someone you kind of have that feeling she just ran away because she thought ki yaar yeah, that's the best thing to do and when they landed they were like and uh, i don't know like there was no yeah. build up to them running away and starting a life together yeah and even they didn't like the it was the fault of the screenplay i guess because yeah. they never felt made it feel like ki yeah, yaar these people actually care about it so Neither it's th- just like they got their each other's numbers. They exchanged their numbers. They they were like um, uh, sitting to the next day they escape and the next day they had a child. Yeah, it was very fast. It was very fast. Like it was like they were all rushing. Like anything that they have to finish the movie, or otherwise the audience will be like. and corona went so itna ganda hai and stuff so they were all rushing and all rushing it was it was really very really weird like inside it everything was in details even to the first half of side it was a bit boring but everything was very very much in details everything seemed very realistic but dhadak wasn't up to the mark even so, they are they are poor right but they are, they are not, like living quite lavishly in my opinion yeah. i yeah, mean and like, they were actually going to the church and all Level like it doesn't it didn't like we are from Kolkata and yeah. that's not how people survive when they run away from somewhere. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah. They and they like they were like the scenes and the scenarios look really good, but it didn't make us feel ki like they are actually suffering. That's what I feel. Yeah, exactly. And also like the family which was. So- Like in Kolkata, since everything was in Kolkata, the family was so popular that both of the two unmarried couple and they are leaving together and they are like, no, get married. They are not forcing it. Yeah. Like, how is it? Actually, possible? that's kind of possible because uh, that uh, that was his, you know, that uncle's friend and stuff. That's but still, know. but still, it was not something which happens in Calcutta. Even it's though, not that easily accepted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, but also like, what what was the We have uh, we didn't watch Sairat, so that's what was the ending of Sairat. Yeah. In the ending, okay, that left me numb. Actually, what happened is I, I was really numb. I was like sitting there after it finished. I was like, what is what am I doing with my life? So I got an existential crisis as usual. So um, in the end of Sairat, what I see is like the. girl's family like their her brother her cousins come to visit him uh, her in the new house and they are having as usual like in the dharat they had a child okay so the child is like very good with the neighbors and stuff so this happy neighbor the lady comes up and says that can i go and take your child outside they can just roam and they take the child outside their house to play and stuff like chalo let's go to the grocery shops and all that um, when they go the the cousins of the heroine like archana comes in so uh, they the heroine is very overwhelmed because of her mother has sent sweets and clothes for the child and everything she was very overwhelmed Thinking that things will be going fine, everything will be going on right and stuff. So after that, they come in, and then the hero pressures, the chef hero pressure comes in, and then he sees him. He was pretty astonished at why are they here and stuff. And once they come in, and she was making them tea and everything. So everything was seem to be seem to be very good. Like everything is going to be fine. Things will be all right, and everything. So that's how it was. It seemed to be in the end. What we said in the other movie, who took the child, uh, who took the child actually to go about in the grocery store. The child walks to the stairs, you know, very slowly and slowly and slowly, and then uh, he share, he finds that the dead body of her parents are lying. The body of his parents are lying on the kitchen. it was all bloody on the floor and the child was shocked as well because of course it's a big impact on a 5 year 3 to 5 year old child and then he walks over to the dead body and his feet is smeared with all the blood and then he walks out of the house with blood smeared and he tell the neighbor that their parents are dead so that's the end oh, see that's how you should end it but here what happened like guys i think you have watched it right <laughs> Oh, what happened is that when they came i already had a feeling i think the yeah, audience is where we were watching had a feeling like something is going wrong like they will actually kill everyone but yeah. it didn't happen it like that it could be a red wedding 
It happened in the wedding. She like the uh, girl went somewhere. The okay. wedding was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They went so, somewhere, and then when she came back, she didn't even enter the by house. By the way, what? Why? Why did she go out? To buy sweets because there was no sweets in the house to present them to the new cousins. Don't you know, like when you are in Kolkata, people like sweets, Rasgulla. So she but went to. But the guy was already giving a serving to them something. No, he was, oh, he was shy. He was shy. He was serving shy. And by the way, the girl didn't bring Rashabunda. She brought Tal Shash. Okay. So, okay. 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 So let's get back to yeah. the point. So yeah. she didn't even enter the house, and she sees her husband and her child being yeah. thrown away from the building. The veranda. It was. It was not very devastating. It was really weird and like, awful. I, like first of all, I felt like, damn, that's bad. It was so misplaced. Was like, yeah, But to be honest, I never really felt that connection between yeah. them. Make me feel fuck. Why is this happening to them? Like, actually yeah. making their lives better, and now yeah. this happened. Because when he, those like Janvi's relatives came, I had a feeling that something wrong is going to happen right now, and I haven't watched side at at all. I there like people die at the end. Uh, uh, when I came back, I actually got to know because people sitting behind us were actually talking about like side at was better and stuff. So I was like, okay, what? <laughs> Then I thought, okay, side at maybe as a good hoga hoga. But be- so also I had a feeling like why did they kill the son? Also, yeah, I mean, isn't it kind of weird? Like, I know the director. That's wanted not to what happens. Like, th- this, in the real world, what is done, we all know, and that's they don't kill like the children and like leave the girl, and it's just stupid. And even the yeah, thing I, that they just show it, and they just don't have anything after that. It's the last scene of the movie. There's no payoff at all. That's the payoff. The shock. Dog. The shock. <laughs> like like Secret Games had that scene of a uh, of that dog. Just But it feels actually... like they they did deliberately to give us a twist, to give us a shocking moment, and they that's yeah. what ruined it. They wanted to give us a yeah, twist. Yeah, of course. They ruined it. So yeah, it was really stupid of them to do it like that. So if you kill someone, they. It's the morning in front of everyone. Yeah, and why you will just... you keep so many witnesses when yeah. the girl is still alive? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make a sense. Like you can make the child alive. You can like that. Sirat me was there, right? The child was alive. Yeah. She, she That or he doesn't have any matter. way to understand. Ki like what? Kaise kya hua kya hai? But yeah. either the girl is alive. So yeah. bro, you are. Like, yeah, I don't know. I am being too awful with this anyway. So yeah, this was there were a lot of loopholes and it was very cringeworthy. And so, how much did you rate it, Shakti? I don't know, three. Okay. Three. What? Five. Three out of ten. Ten. Okay. Shall we go? What about you? Four. Yeah, four is fine, I guess. So, um, I would give it a four as well because for the song and also I found kind of Ishan very cute and of course there were a lot of casual sexism and uh, what I hated um, to see was like that midget thing that like Ishan's friend was a midget and that was really devastating to see that. Don't worry, did. let uh, like after. Okay, comes with his movie. I yeah, think zero. Stop that, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. they'll get some respect and not forcefully be cartoonized. Yeah, absolutely. That was really, really, really bad. So, so pissing off for me. Anyway, so, at least yeah. something will happen in this movie, right? Actually, yeah, actually. So, so anyway, yeah. guys, that's, that's it. it. For the movie, and so that's it for the review of Tharak. So, if you like our video, please hit us a like and do comment if you have missed anything, and do comment also if you think that we are actually, you know, 
you could relate with our podcast also and yeah to a few anything else you want to say also we are in a lot of social media handles we are on facebook instagram twitter everywhere so you can just go and follow us and link is in the description below and what the feel me like, why is saira this better than dhara yeah, okay yes of course you should so yeah so yeah this is uh, so yeah we are going to end the podcast right here so we will come back with a new podcast very 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 soon